what's the word? It's your boy Nino again, back with visuals for the culture, man. Thanks for pulling back up. We got a couple crazy stories today, and I have an update. This one is a little bit more closer to home, as I know this person who lost his life, rest in peace, to Data MB. But um, Shore News article states, NYPD makes arrest in a Bronx shooting. As part of an ongoing investigation, NYPD released several updates on the homicide. The original incident took place on Sunday, March 19th at around 11.48 p.m. Police responded to a 911 call regarding a male shot at a deli located at 4702 White Plains Road. Upon arrival, officers found a 24-year-old male later identified as Daquan Simmons with a gunshot wound to the torso. Simmons was transported to Jacoby Medical Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. A second victim, a 42-year-old male, suffered a gunshot wound to his right leg and was taken to Montefiore in stable condition. Continuing investigations led to the arrest of Leon Smith, a 24-year-old male from Boston Road in the Bronx. On Wednesday, April 19th, Smith was charged with murder, manslaughter, and criminal possession of a weapon. Shit, man. Yo, man. Rest in peace to Day Day, bro. You already know. I got to know him for like about two years or so. You know what I mean? He had a lot going on in his life, but you know what I mean? What I liked about him was that he was transgress transgressing through. Like, he was pushing through, you know. He ain't have a lot, but he was doing what he had to do. You know what I'm saying? So, rest in peace to him. I mean, now I hope his family could, you know, they have some closure. And I hope it's, may God bless his soul. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's move on to the next story. So, in the Bronx, we got somebody accused, well, a man accused of stabbing a EMS worker in the ambulance. Like, what? Like, you stabbing the people that's supposed to save us? So who gonna save us? Nah, but New York Post states, an emotionally disturbed man accused of stabbing an EMS worker inside the ambulance has been hit with charges for the Wednesday night attack. Rudy Garcia, 48, of the Bronx, faces assault, criminal possession of a weapon, and obstruction of governmental administration for the 9 p.m. attack on Mount Sinai West first responder at West 58th Street and 9th Avenue. Garcia stabbed the emergency medical service worker, a 25-year-old woman with a kitchen knife in the arm and leg, cops said. She was taken to the hospital and listed in stable condition. The alleged stabber was emotionally disturbed, but the exact motive for the stabbing remains unclear. He was initially picked up by EMS on the Upper West Side at West 94th Street and Amsterdam Avenue on cardiac arrest call. Garcia remained at Mount Sinai Hospital where he's receiving treatment early Thursday. According to police, Garcia has eight prior arrests, the most recent in June for transit fraud. He also been arrested for criminal possession of a weapon, assault, menacing, drug possession, and robbery. Wow. I uh, oh, mm. You stabbing the EMT worker. And she's a woman. He definitely was mentally disturbed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, how... <sighs> yeah, he had to be off drugs or he's already, like... I mean, they show his criminal record, you know what I'm saying? And even though that doesn't really justify anything, but he 48, so he those was priors, like, recent, it seemed like. He's mentally disturbed probably going through poverty or something i don't know but he whipped out the 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 not the special move but the feel me the light punch now nah, that's not even light that's a heavy attack feel me but these dudes is burnt out bro we need to get on um, the mental health people out in the street alongside the anti-gun violence people bro and just start now me doing some evaluations live like that's actually sound like a good idea because Boys bugging out. But let's move on to the next story. So we got another incident where a woman is getting stabbed. But it's not the EMS worker this time. According to police, they're investigating a deadly stabbing incident at Manhattan Public Housing Project on Wednesday. I think it's Lincoln Projects. 
At approximately 8 o'clock a.m., police responded to a call reporting an assault in progress at the Lincoln NYCHA development at 2135 Madison Avenue in Manhattan. Upon arrival, officers discovered a 20-year-old female identified as Shayla Johnson, who had sustained two stab wounds, one to her neck and another to her chest. EMS arrived on the scene and rushed the victim to the hospital. She was pronounced deceased at the, on arrival. A 26-year-old male identified as Rodney Johnson was apprehended by the police at the location and taken into custody. Johnson now faces charges of murder in connection with the incident. Further details surrounding the motive or the circumstances of the stabbing have not been disclosed at this time. The investigation is ongoing. Wow. Emotional damage, bro. Not even to make a joke, bro, but like... I, every time I hear a dude kill a female or stab him up or like, you know, shoot him, and I just feel like, bro, she had that much control over you that you couldn't control yourself and just walk away or spin or leave, you know what I'm saying, the situation. Now you kill her. I don't know. She could have cheated on you, whatever. It doesn't matter. There's no need for you to murder her. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to get your emotions in check as a man. Ain't you 26? She's 20. You... You closer to living more of your life than she was, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, rest in peace to her, you know what I mean? And this nigga get what he deserve, really. I like I'm a hood nigga, but I don't have no sympathy for niggas that harm children, women and all that, old people, niggas that do like, you know, petty crimes. I don't I don't respect that. So rest in peace again to her, you know what I'm saying? And Whatever, bro, you get what you deserve, nigga, like, respectfully. You know what I'm saying? But let's move on to the next one. So back in the Bronx, we got two men wanted for ambushing and taking four bands from a 68-year-old woman. According to police, an elderly woman was ambushed in Longwood section of the Bronx Monday by two men who ended up robbing her and stealing $4,000. One, one man walked up to her on Simpson Street, followed by another man from the other direction. They told her to follow them and pretend that she knew them. They stopped, and while one suspect acted as a lookout, the other one threw her purse and took $4,000. Anyone with information, you know what to do. You know how that go. All right. I'm on here trying to encourage the youth to stop, the you know, the violence and the all of this foolishness and you got old niggas old ass niggas these are grandfathers nobody can't tell me nothing these are grandfathers robbing grandmothers and doing it with style got a lookout one nigga going through it like bro what bro let me see one of these old niggas or doing anything like that to an old lady why ain't somebody see them or pop on these old niggas smack them in their face or some shit you know what i'm saying Nigga, kick them in the knee, nigga. These niggas ain't running nowhere. You know what I'm saying? How you got old dudes committing crimes? These niggas got gray hairs and liver spots and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? It is the Bronx. We have to put that in perspective. We are in the Bronx. These niggas was probably with this shit back in the day, clearly. You know what I'm saying? But Jesus Christ, man. God bless my city. Please just, like, give this shit some hope. I just did a story about another old nigga yesterday that he robbed a, a person in a wheelchair with a gun, though. You know what I'm saying? And then he robbed another lady. Um, A young lady pulled a gun out on her. These old niggas is, is hunting for money. Like, what happened? Don't y'all get uh, SSI or whatever the case is, whatever old people get? You know, no disrespect to the elderly. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, how could you, as an old man, like in your 50s and 60s, robbing ladies and shit and and all um, and disabled people you know what i'm saying but it's that it's that bronx air like it's something in the air that got people burnt out like i say all the time you know what i mean but at least he ain't back out the special move on her so you know they did it because you know she's elderly she probably can't move too much whatever the case is but i mean at least thank god she ain't get hurt you know but yeah catch these old niggas man they wilding out man I need niggas is taking money from old ladies, bro. Y'all niggas need to get your own back, bro. 
Ask your kids to take care of you. Something, bro. Like, y'all, y'all fucking up. But let's move on. So in some petty news, you know, we got a 13-year-old boy punched in the face and robbed for a scooter in broad daylight in Gramercy Park. This is in the Manhattan. So according to 1010 Wins, a 13-year-old boy was punched in his face and got a scooter took in an afternoon attack at a park on Manhattan's east side. Newly released images show the suspect in last Sunday's robbery at Peters Field at East 21st Street and 2nd Avenue in Gramercy. The boy was at the park, which features a basketball court, sports lawn, at around 4.30 p.m. when he was attacked by a male wearing a ski mask. Surve- surveillance images showed the suspect holding a scooter after the robbery. The suspect punched the boy in the face, knocked him to the ground, and stole the scooter, police said. The thief then fled northbound on 2nd Avenue with the victim's scooter, according to police. The photos show him holding a scooter as he walks down the sidewalk. EMS responded to the scene and treated the victim for the minor industry- injuries. Pardon me. Okay. This nigga looked like a grown-ass man. This nigga punched a 13-year-old for a Razor scooter, my nigga. He's definitely burnt out. And then he's walking with it. He didn't even get on the scooter and ride off. The nigga punched the little nigga, took his scooter and walked and started talking. And, like, got on his phone and shit. Like, what, you about to go sell that shit or something, nigga? But you know that's not far-fetched, nigga, because niggas is burnt out, bro. I, I wouldn't even be surprised he put that on offer up or something. You know what I'm saying? For like twenty dollars or something. Probably forty. And the nigga got Yeezys on. With a ski mask on in in the summertime with shorts. I mean, if bugged out is not the word, then what is it? I'm just saying. Ski mask, uh hoochie daddy shorts, them shits is mad tiny, tiny shorts. He's going to do something. And then he took a scooter from a 13-year-old. I'm just saying. We got to do better. Now, every day I report, we're going to find out how crazy this city is, bro. Now, hopefully, this bring awareness and, you know, one day and we start getting some changes, bro. Because this is, this is not acceptable, bro. Grown men is robbing old ladies, stabbing females, and, and taking scooters. It's not even a motor scooter, bro. It's not a scooter like that the police is running down on us for. He's robbing a 13-year-old boy for a Razor scooter with the wheelie bar on the back, with the, with the light-up wheels and all of that. Whatever, man. Man, thank God that little boy is good and he ain't get stabbed or something because that, that's usually how the story go. But let's move on to this last story in the Bronx. So we back in the Fordham section slash Kingsbridge section of the Bronx. Feel me? It says, too soft for an evening shooting in the vicinity of St. James Park. We was just there with it. Again, that's where the two little kids got shot in the leg. Feel me? Three-year-old and a six-year-old. And we back over there by this park. That's why I say, if you know about this park, you know, if you know that little area, you know what's going on over there. Feel me? So, police released photos of two people and are asking for the public's help in identifying them in connection with a shooting that took place in the vicinity of St. James Park in Fordham Manor the week before a more deadly shooting took place in the same area. Police say that on Thursday, July 6th at around 8.15 p.m., some un- unidentified individuals fired shots, causing a grave risk of death or seriously physical injury to members of the public in the park. They said that they fled on foot onto 2244 Creston Avenue in the Fordham Heights. There were no injuries reported as of this incident. As previously reported, another shooting took place adjacent to St. James Park on East 193rd Street and Morris the following Tuesday, July 11th, where four people got shot. Two children under the age of seven were shot and two old men in their 20s. All of them report to be in stable condition. The police also released photos of those guys in connection with the July 11th shooting. Like, bro, that area is hot. That's basically the moral of the story. You know what I'm saying? These young niggas is booming at motherfuckers with no masks on and they don't care. And... You know, be safe out there, man. Keep your kids out the way, bro. Like, you know, 
go to like amusement parks and stuff like that because these local parks is just a breeding ground for gang violence and shootings, bro but i don't know i'm gonna keep this short under 17 15 minutes man i'm gonna holla at you peace Thank you.